Welcome to beautiful Nicaragua. We are here today at Morgan's Rock Eco Lodge with a yoga practice that will tone and define every muscle in your body. This 20 minute practice will focus greatly on your core and lower body through a variation of Pilates, toning exercises, and the fluidity and movement of a yoga flow. So if you're ready to work hard, focus, and push yourself to the next level, grab your mat and let's begin. All right, friends, let's get started today seated at the back of your mat. Let's come into child's pose by reaching your hands forward. Let's keep the weight on top of our fingertips as you allow your forehead to come all the way down. Take a deep breath in. Now on your exhalation, begin to transfer your weight forward, coming down with your chest to the mat, pressing into the fingertips as you lift up into a baby cobra. Exhale, bring yourself down, pressing into those fingertips and sit back into child's pose. Sit all the way back with your hips to the heels and then slowly release back onto your belly, pressing into the fingertips, lift up into cobra. Exhale, bring yourself down in a nice fluid motion. Come back over into child's pose. Two more times like that, press into the fingertips. Come through onto your belly. Inhale, lift up, cobra. Exhale, down. Pressing into the fingertips, lift your chest and hips up, child's pose. One last time, transfer forward, belly down. Try to make a wave-like motion with your body as you lift and lower. Now press the palms of your hands, lift yourself up and sit back into child's pose. Great job, extending through the elbows here. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let's come on over to all fours position. At this time, we're going to extend your right leg all the way out and take your left arm forward. Let's try to create a beautiful straight line with the body here, pulling the navel into the spine. Holding this position, one level with the arm and the leg. Take a deep breath in. On your exhale, crunch. Extend and then kick your arm and leg up to the sky. Crunch it in, extend and kick for two. Crunch it in, extend, lift your leg and arm at the same time for three. Crunch, extend and kick. Crunch, extend and kick. Good, using the strength of your glute muscle and your shoulder to lift your arm and leg. Crunch, extend and kick. Now I like to lower the leg a little bit before I do the kick to give myself a little more momentum and kick, crunch, extend and kick. Great job, hold it there now. Bend the back knee and take your left arm and reach behind grabbing the ankle. Now see if you can simply begin to lift that leg up as high as you can. Almost like we're doing a dancer's pose but on our knee. Hold it with the opposite hand and lift keeping your shoulders square towards the front of your mat. See how high you can get that leg. Lift the knee up. Feeling the engagement through your glute muscles, through your back muscles. Keeping your other hand grounded on the mat. And then release, extending your leg and arm forward again. Release your hand to the ground. Now lift your bottom foot. And you're going to pivot yourself so you come into a side position here with your right leg still extended. Holding this position, pull the navel into the spine. Keep that leg up so it's aligned with the rest of your body. Now reach your arm over top of your head and then crunch it in for one. Extend, touch your elbow to the knee and two. Elbow to the knee and three. Working the obliques here and four. Crunch, 
and five, try to get physical contact with the elbow and the knee. Seven and eight, great job, keep going. Nine and 10, awesome. Now reach that arm up to the sky and let's pulse the leg up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, keep going, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome, point the toes, bend that knee again. Now grab with the same hand, pull the heel to the glute first. So you're stretching out the quadricep here. A really nice deep stretch. And then see if you can now extend that leg away from the body. So you're pushing the heel away from your back as you gently arch the back and really open up through the heart center keeping the balance on the bottom knee and your hand on the mat. Great, from here release, pull the heel back over to the glute, extend the leg, bring your hand over to the mat. From here, stay in this position, we're going to tuck the bottom toes underneath and simply lift and hover the back knee off the mat. Hold it there for just a few seconds, pull the navel into the spine, find that center, find that strength, and then from here, that straight leg bends towards the nose, knee to nose, hold it here, two, and one. Awesome, extending that leg up into three-legged dog, deep breath in, and exhale. Now that top leg comes through between your two hands, find that center, high lunge. Your front knee over top of your ankle, let's extend the front knee, bend both knees for one, and two, keep going. Keep your body centered and square. For three, two, last one here. Now extend the back knee, bend the elbows and twist to the right for one. And twist again for two, twisting from the belly button, three, and Four, great job. Go ahead, twist to the right, extending both arms, hold it here. See if you can hold that balance for one more breath. Awesome, now from here, your left arm comes up, right arm comes down as you hold this twisted high lunge, going a little bit deeper into that upper body now. Reach as high as you can, and then bring that left elbow to the right knee, placing palms of your hands together into our twisted lunge. Keeping your gaze down to help you with your balance, or if you're a little bit more advanced, go ahead and extend both arms out. See if you can go into a deeper twist here. Great job, let's bring the palms of our hands together again. Holding for one more breath. And then slowly transitioning into our chair position. So bringing both feet and knees together, keeping your gaze forward, or up towards the sky, towards that right elbow. Awesome, now let's untwist, reach both arms up to the sky, and then release up to standing. Inhale, arms up, exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, let's reach both arms up to the sky. Exhale, diving your body nice and slow into your standing forward fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, hop back into plank position, and then take push-ups. And three, and four, last one. Awesome, now take your chaturanga to the floor. Inhale, opening into upward facing dog. And then exhale, press yourself back, downward facing dog. Take a moment, binding your breath, pressing those hands down onto the mat as the sternum releases. Come on onto your knees, release the toes, and let's reverse it with the other leg now starting by extending your left leg all the way back and then reaching your opposite arm, your right arm forward. Finding that center in the balance, pulling the navel into the spine. Shoulders are square, hips are square. And now from here, just lower, lift up and then crunch it in. Extend and kick, crunch it in. Extend, kick your arm and leg up and then crunch as you touch your elbow to the knee. Extend and kick and crunch extend and kick and crunch 
keeping your shoulders and hips square at the same time as you're moving your limbs. So keep going, keep focusing on the movement, extend and kick using the glutes, use the shoulders. And let's hold it here now. Take your right arm behind your back, grab your left ankle and begin to lift your left knee as high as you possibly can. Lift up, lift up, keeping yourself square to the front of your mat. See how high you can get that heel up towards the sky. Keep lifting, keep lifting. You're doing great, just keep engaging your muscles here. One more deep breath in. Long and gentle exhalation out. Release the leg. From here, extending your leg and arm, bring your hand down onto the mat. Lift your bottom heel and then pivot so you're opening yourself up to a side plank with your extended leg aligned with the rest of your body. Now reach your left arm up towards the front of your mat and then crunch it in. Extend and then touch elbow to knee for two. Exhale three and open. Elbow to knee and open using those oblique muscles and reach. Each time you open, try not to let your leg drop. You want to keep it aligned along the same level as your entire side body here. And crunch. And open. And crunch. And open. Hold it there. And now just pulse the leg. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Bend that back knee. Now grab your ankle. First, pull the heel towards your glute so you're really feeling that stretch through the quadricep. And then see if you can extend that foot away from your body. Holding this position, really opening up through the center, through the frontal area of your body, through your heart. Open up, keep lifting, keep reaching. And then bring the heel back over, extending the leg and arm, Pivoting yourself back over to that all fours position with your back leg extended. Tuck your back toes underneath. Let's lift and hover that back knee for two breaths here. Keep that knee low, engaging through your core, your shoulders. And then from here, bend that back knee and bring the knee towards your forehead. Hold it here for three, two, one, get that knee close to your nose and extend it up into three-legged dog. Deep breath in. Exhale. Bring that knee to the chest. This time, step it forward, reaching both arms once you found your balance. High lunge. Let's lift it up. Beautiful. Take a moment. Find your breath. Extend the front knee. Exhale. Let's bend both knees for one. Extend. And two. Reach. And three reach and four get that back knee low to the ground keep going awesome last one here great job now let's come on down again extending the back knee holding this high lunge position releasing the arms bend the elbows into cactus and then twist to the left for a one Twisting from the upper body for two. Twist and look for three. Twist and look for four. Awesome. Now let's go again and twist to the left, this time extending both arms out. Holding this beautiful, focused, balanced, twisted lunge. Reach your right arm up to the sky as your left arm comes towards the back leg, towards the hamstring. Awesome. Now from here, take that right elbow to the left knee, palms of your hands together, holding this twisted high lunge, keeping your gaze down towards the mat, or if you wish, you can look towards the sky. If you're a little bit more advanced, you're more than welcome to extend both elbows to go a little bit deeper. You got it. Just keep breathing. Find that center. Let's bring the palms of our hands together. Keep holding that twist and then bring that back foot forward into your twisted chair. Keeping your gaze forward or towards that top elbow. Untwisting the body, reaching both arms up and then extend your body up. Hands into prayer in front of your chest. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Well done. Let's take an inhale, reaching both arms up to the sky. 
Exhale, swan dive yourself all the way down towards the mat. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, hop right into Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, bend your knees. Let's go ahead and hop between your two hands. Now from here, you're going to sit back, roll yourself to your shoulders. As you roll up with the momentum, come up to chair. So you're gonna roll back, bring your feet up in chair for two. And this is quite advanced. If you need some more support, feel free to use the hands to help you come up to chair. Bring it back and lift in chair, hold. Engage your core, engage your quads. Lots of power here as you come up. Bring it down with control as you roll back. Bring it up into chair. Awesome, now slowly come on down. All the way onto your back. Bring your knees towards your body, arms up over your head. And then from here, just bring your body forward into a little ball position. Extending the legs up, deep breath in. Exhale, hands behind your head. Opposite elbow to knee, hold it there and just that top leg is gonna lower and bring it up for one. Lower and two. Inhale, lower, exhale, three. So work only the straight leg as you remain with the elbow and knee touching if you can. Keep going, lower and up. Last one, bicycle twist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, keep going, 12, 13, 14, 15, don't stop, 16, 17, 18, you're almost done, 19, 20, great job, twist to the other side, other leg lifts up and lower for one, lift and two, so now keep your right elbow touching the left knee, the straight right leg is moving up and down each time, you're doing great. Don't give up, stay with me, we're almost done here. Only got a couple more exercises to go. And lower, lift it up, untwist the body and relax, great job. Arms over your head and then bring your arms forward as you lift your shoulder blades off the mat. We're just gonna do a baby roll and then extend the legs away from you. So as you baby roll, you lift your hips off the ground and then extend, lift and extend. So this is a really great exercise to tone the lower abdominals, to strengthen the lower area of your core. Bring it up and extend. Bring it up and extend. Just a baby roll up. You're just lifting the hips off the floor. Bring it in and extend. Bring it in and extend. Keep those arms underneath your glutes. Hold it here now, just hover those legs above the floor. Rest your head down so you're not straining the neck. Shoulders are relaxed if you can engage your core. You're almost done, keep it hovered and just pulse it up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, almost done. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. You are done, great job. Bring those knees into the body. Slowly come on up over towards your plank position, drop the belly down. Let's bring the elbows onto the floor and take a cobra or sphinx pose. Stretch those abdominals out. Well done, you guys. You did an amazing job today. Working your core, working your lower body, moving, flowing, and breathing. Let's come back over to child's pose just to round out the spine. Taking a deep breath in and exhale, let it go. Awesome, one more deep breath in and exhale. Thanking your body, thanking yourself for taking this opportunity today and doing something good for your well being. Let's slowly roll up, inhale. Reach both arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. One more time. Deep breath in, reach up, nice big stretch. And exhale, bring your hands to heart. Thank you so much for joining us today in beautiful Nicaragua. I send you so much love and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you. Namaste. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. 
And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more yoga workout videos like this. Thanks again, and we'll see you soon.